that, that they did withdraw from the adoption services has very publicly rebuked uh, those who use that circumstance as an illustration of, of, of same-sex marriage leading to this result. Um, I think it's a phenomenon that, that you'll find in common with both the New Mexico uh, illustration that you used um, and Massachusetts. Existing anti-discrimination statutes are the vehicle that, is, that are used to give rise to these actions that you're afraid of. Um, New Mexico, you talked about a commitment ceremony. There, there was no gay marriage in New Mexico, right? So that's a circumstance that arose independent of the question of same-sex marriage. Um, you know, the, the fear of individuals and organizations to be uh, persecuted on their beliefs is, is, is certainly not trivial, and it certainly should be something that we air and discuss fully tonight, and frankly, as a society going forward, but we're, we're, we're sort of using apples uh, to oranges when we talk about a legal mechanism that is not marriage equality that we're looking at tonight. Well, with all due respect, Senator, uh, where are laws in, in the states that are expanding that sexual agenda, be them non-discrimination laws, um, civil union, or same-sex marriage. They are being asked to affirm a message that they don't believe. And interestingly enough, in the cases where these non-discrimination non laws are being used, they're not discriminating based on sexual orientation. They're being asked to host ceremonies, wedding ceremonies, commitment ceremonies, depending on the laws of that state. And that is to affirm a message that is marriage that, that, that directly contradicts their religious beliefs. So it doesn't really matter the vehicle. The point is, is that where, and the point is here before the bill before us today, fails to protect the religious freedom of this of these people. And so people here in the state of Rhode Island, photographers who are asked to, you know, photograph a ceremony at their church down the street or, or whatever it might be, they are not protected. And and that's and that's the point, right? But isn't right. that the, isn't that what's what's in place right now under the existing statutory scheme for discrimination? You know, aren't all the things that you're concerned about, the florist in Cranston mm -hmm. is subject to the liability you're very concerned about, and it's a valid discussion. Don't get mm -hmm. me wrong, I, I'm, I'm not discounting it, but those threats to individual um, uh, individual conscience mm -hmm. exist already, and they're not going to be impacted well, one way or the other by this bill. Well, if they exist then we should be absolutely not, not supporting legislation bill. that fails to protect the, the constitutionally required First Amendment freedoms. You shouldn't be supporting a bill that doesn't protect religious freedom, and this bill clearly doesn't protect it. Thank you. Thank you. Senator Archibald. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My, my comment's directed to Kelly, and then I have one for the father. Kelly, you talked about the symptomatic problem with the implementation of S-38, and that it's going to discriminate religiously. Mm -hmm. What do you propose for the remedy? You're, you're bright, you're articulate, you've yep. talked a lot about the issue as it affects the group you represent. I'd like to hear you present what you feel is the remedy if we want to have in concert civil unions with religious freedom. Uh, you're, you're asking what the remedy would be What's the remedy? Yes, so that the impact wouldn't be discriminatory upon a group of Catholics who don't want to photograph a same-sex couple. I would say put into, put into the bill comprehensive protections for religious freedom. I mean, the basic freedoms that, that, that the First Amendment prescribes. Wow. Can you be more specific? What what do you propose would do that? Any type of language? I'm, I'm not trying to ask you to write a treatise on the spot. Right, But right. You're, you're, you're bright enough to be able to tell me what the premise is behind, the premises are behind what, what your argument is. If, if you want to send to the clerk after the hearing or a date in the future, Thank you, Mr. what you propose is language that you suggest, and also send a copy to Senator Archibald, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Let me direct my, my comments to, to uh, uh, the father for a minute. The, the only thing I'm going to ask, Senator, is when a person speaks, you can ask them a question after that. We're not going to keep rotating back and forth among the different witnesses that are speaking. Absolutely. You can continue, Senator, just Absolutely. this one time. I, I promise Thank I'll you. be highly efficient on time this evening. Father, as a representative of the Catholic Church, do you believe that all men are created equal? Yes. And do you believe that as all men being created equal, they have the right to believe spiritually in any God that they believe in or yes. choose not to believe in? Yes. Yes. Are there any other questions of this witness? Thank you. You can proceed.